Who said that? Who said that? So we are home from the Walmarts. I need y'all to help me unload the dishwasher and put the groceries away, okay? Go put it in the fridge. Wow. Put it with the spoons, please. <laughs> no, those are the big spoons, the baby spoons. Or the kids' spoons. Half up! Good job. Well, you have to go all the way outside, okay? Yes, <gasps> I got eaten by a bear. What happened? Ended by and it's a deer. A squirrel ate the pumpkin? And a deer. And Caddy, yeah. And Caddy. Da! And Caddy, da! What do you think happened? A deer ate it. A deer ate it? Yes. Poor daddy's pumpkin. Yes. And then can I Thank you. And then bear. Oh, those are my favorite. This is Put the lid on. What happens if you're allergic to gross weeds? You die. What's going on here, boys? <laughs> Don't be sassy. Oh, are you going to show them how? Then watch me. See that, Booney? That's how you eat. Okay. Good job! Yay! All the red. This, oh my goodness, when, when I try to feed it to him, he literally takes it from me and feeds himself. This child is just independent. Got something in the mail. And the UPS guy just got really freaked out by Remington. Remington is like the sweetest dog in the world, but he definitely has a mean bark. Cherokee, come here. What is this for, Cherokee? Princess Peach. Princess Peach. These are so white and beautiful. We are actually not going to open them up until nap time because our hands are dirty and I do not want to get a speck of dust on them. Okay. My beauty hurts. My beauty hurts. My beauty hurts. I'm drawing its eyes in. You're drawing its eyes mm -hmm. in? Mine is a pretty girl bunny. A girl bunny? Mm -hmm. It looks like the happiest little bunny ever.
pay attention. Now, Can you see the teaser course desert, please? Good morning. Mom. Yes, ma'am. Uh, oh, you did a good job all yeah. by yourself. Oh. I have to say, since moving Boone to his own bedroom, he naps. He naps much better. Do you like having your own bedroom? And both the boys woke up while I was doing some school with Cherokee. Good morning, bud. Did you take a good nap? Yeah. Okay. Now we'll one. Daddy wants one strawberry? Yeah. I bet he wants ten strawberries. Uh, and there are ten strawberries? Maybe. Oh. Daddy loves strawberries. Do you know anybody else that loves strawberries? Yeah. Who? Daddy. Daddy. Who else? Daddy. Who else? Mom. Mom Daddy. does? Mina. Boone does. Who else? Uh, tree does. The tree does? Yeah. The tree eats strawberries. Won't you be mine? Could you be mine? Won't you be my neighbor? My neighbor. This four o'clock bottle is the one that I struggle with the most getting him to eat. Eat like straight up food. Like the kid just wants a steak. Do not touch it. These guys just came and put this property steak in our yard not in our yard, on the edge of our property. Because apparently the guy that owns all these woods behind us, it's like five acres, and he's, uh, I don't know if he's gonna like put a fence around it or what, but these random men parked in our driveway today, and they were like digging something up in our yard. So I called Josh, I was like, Josh, there's people in our yard. He was like, don't freak out. And I was like, where's the gun? But <laughs> I just did the normal thing and I went and talked to the people like they were humans, cause they are. And they're just like, we're just putting the steak in and they explained everything. I went out with Remington and he barked at him and I was like, they're not gonna kill me, they're not gonna kill me. And then they just told me what they were doing. They just put that little steak in our yard with pink tape around it. Cause these guys were like walking through our yard with stakes and then they parked in our driveway. So I was like, I was low key freaking out. But whenever something like that happens, I call Josh or at least just, yeah, pretend that I'm on the phone. Yes. Push it really hard. Like the Hulk, like daddy, push it. You're pulling it, push. You're pulling it. You need a what? You need a poop. Yeah. You've already pooped twice today. This is pushing it. You push. If I'm ever like threatened, I always call Josh. I'm like, Josh, this is happening. What do I do? Where's the gun? He's like, Bethany, chill. Like, they're not gonna kill you in broad daylight. <laughs> he is the calm to my storm. Let me tell you what. I'm I'm serious when I say that. Like, he is such a chill cucumber, and I'm like, ah. Today, Beth climbing the tree, and I know Bear couldn't, but it's fun to talk. And Bear, what are you doing? Climbing the tree. And he's climbing a tree right now. Say hey. Yay. Yay. Say, Yay. smile. Good Yay. job. Why? Okay, you just. I'm gonna, oh! You just. just <laughs> that goggle. But only so really like goggles of blood, but the thick. Okay, branch, but what? A second, this pretty. Husband is getting home from work a little bit later than we thought, because his last stop was like an hour away from the house. So he's on his way home now. But we have to leave for a tricky soccer game like as soon as he gets home. We have to leave a lot sooner than I thought. I don't know what I was thinking. What do you think about her hair? Hair. You like Cherokee's hair? Is she so beautiful? Yeah, look at me. Oh, Cherokee, who got you ready? Me. I'm so impressed. She tucked her shirt in and everything by herself. They see me rolling, the hating, patrolling, the da 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 Kick the ball, son, go! Kick the ball! Go get the ball! Cannon, go to the ball! There you go, play the ball, 